Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I welcomes you to my second video on some common electrical engineering formulas. In my previous video, I told you from formulas 1 to 11 and in this video, I will tell you formulas 12 and onward. So let's start. So formula number 12, back EMF in a motor is given by E sub to B equals to P into phi into Z into N divided by A volt where P equals to number of poles in the motor, Z equals to number of conductors, N equals to speed of motor in RPS or revolutions per second. A is the number of parallel paths in the armature and finally phi equals to flux per pole. Formula number 13. In an LIC circuit or inductance resistance capacitance circuit, the voltage across resistance is given by I into R. The voltage across the inductance is given by I into XL and voltage across the capacitance is given by I into XC. Formula number 14. V equals to IR or voltage equals to current into resistance and power P equals to voltage into current. So if you replace this V by IR you will get IR into I that is P equals to I square R. Similarly, if you replace this I by V by R, then you will get V by R into V that is V square by R. So, all the three formulas are true for power. So, there are several kinds of power. So, formula 15, the true power or real power that is equals to V RMS into I RMS into cos phi. The unit of true power is what? Formula 16. Reactive power is given by V RMS into I RMS into sin phi. And the unit of reactive power is volt ampere reactive that is VAR. Formula 17. Apparent power which is given by V into I. The unit is what? Formula 18. Induced EMF or E equals to L into del i by del t or di by dt where l is the inductance di equals to small change in current and dt equals to small change in time formula 19 transformer formulas equals to v1 by v2 equals to i1 by i2 equals to n2 by n1 where v1 is the voltage in primary coil v2 is the voltage in secondary coil I1 is the current in primary coil, I2 is the current in secondary coil and N1 is the number of turns in primary coil and N2 is the number of turns in secondary coil. So remember it is V1 by V2, I1 by I2 equals to N2 by N1, that is the trick. Formula 20, frequency of an alternator is given by F equals to P into N by 120 where P is the number of poles in an alternator and N is the RPM or revolutions per minute. Remember alternators are also called the dynamo or the generator. Formula 21. The phase angle phi is given by net reactance divided by resistance in an LRC circuit. The net reactance is XL minus XC and resistance is R. Formula 22. Meter constant of single phase energy meter. This is used to measure electrical energy consumed in our household. So that is represented by Z equals to number of revolutions by kilowatt hour. Number of revolutions of the disk which is inside the meter by kilowatt hour consumed. Formula 23. Percentage error in the above calculation is equals to standard value which is written on the meter minus test value divided by the standard value. So that is S standard value minus T test value divided by the standard value into 100%. And after doing the calculation, if the value is positive, then meter is running slow and if the value is negative, the meter is running fast. Now some common formulas and data. So 1 calorie equals to 4.2 joules, where calorie and joules both are unit of heat and thus unit of energy because heat is one kind of energy. 
heat in joules equals to I square RT joules where I is the current in ampere, R is the resistance in ohm and T is the time in second. Heat in calorie that is I square RT by 4.2 because 1 calorie equals to 4.2 joules. Heat absorbed by a body or a substance equals to M into C into temperature 2 minus temperature 1 where M is the mass of the substance for example water and C is the constant and temperature 2 is the final temperature and temperature 1 is the initial temperature. So friends this was the end of my second video on electrical engineering formulas. Remaining formulas I will discuss in the video number 3. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video you get an email. It takes a lot of effort to make a video like this. So please appreciate my effort by liking the video and please share the video. If you like it you can easily find out the video later and if you share the video you can help someone else by sharing the knowledge. You can watch my other electrical engineering videos. The link to them is given in the video description. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then stay connected by subscribing.